Hello everyone, today we're going to be teaching an AI to play Mario Kart Wii on everyone's favourite or least favourite track, Rainbow Road. The AI in this video works fairly similarly to the AI in the last video, but with a few changes. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to check that out. As in the last video, the AI is going to be given nothing but the screen pixels and some rewards that we decide in order to teach itself to drive around the track. So one big change between this video and the last is that instead of just spawning at the start of the track, the AI is placed randomly around the track. This allows the AI to experience loads of different parts of the track before learning to actually reach those sections, as some of the sections take a really long time to actually acquire the skill to reach. The other main change was the reward function, or how we tell if the AI is doing good or bad. The program I wrote actually accesses the Wii's internal memory, where a value is stored that represents how far through the track a player is. When playing a race of Mario Kart, and the game tells you what position you're in, such as first, second or third, this works by comparing these race completion variables, as the player with the highest race completion will be the player in first. This value can also be used to determine when a crash happens, or if the AI has fallen off the edge, as there'll be an abrupt stop in the race completion variable. Technicalities aside, we're now 20 hours into training, and while the AI has slightly progressed, it's still having a lot of trouble in all of the different spawn locations. Using multiple spawn locations may actually slow down initial progress, as the AI is forced to learn to drive in many scenarios, rather than just one. When learning how to drive in a single scenario, the AI might get good at that specific part of the track, but that knowledge might not necessarily transfer to other parts. In machine learning, this is commonly referred to as overfitting. After 30 hours training, we can pretty clearly see that the AI has the right intentions, as it seems to head in the right direction in most different spawn locations. However, it really just needs more time to nail the execution. For those of you who have played this course, let me know what you think is the toughest part of the track. For me it was definitely the two corners after the two big circular holes in the ground. When learning the game originally, this section was a nightmare for me as it required some really precise action to avoid falling off. Before 50 to 60 hours of training, while the AI had definitely made some progress, things were still pretty slow. It was only after this time that things really started falling into place and some big breakthroughs could finally begin happening.
After a hundred hours training, the AI was finally able to complete Rainbow Road without crashing or falling off. Here is a graph of the AI's progress while training. I really hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to like and subscribe for more AI content.